So this is an engine from MRC Tuning over in Banbury, one of their customers. They've asked us to take it apart and inspect it for them. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to um, find out what's wrong with it, basically. How are we, Jules? Yes. As we do. Second forever, this. Sorry. Second me forever. How come you get the better gun? How? Because <laughs> you're cleverer. Mm -hmm. You get a bigger bar on it. We have one. I'm trying to look like that. Yeah. Okay. Tap this up. <laughs> oh, we'll tap it. There's a bit of metal there. What's that? So these are the plungers behind the cam magnets. And these is what lets the oil in and out of the variator to swing the timing. So the magnet pushes in there and that's what lets the oil in and out basically. Relieves the pressure. They tend to stick and they can cause a rough running on takeover sometimes or a variation in the cam timing that you don't want basically. This is what keeps the cams together at the top and that enables the oil to come up from the engine comes through here, then up into where the valves are. Let's just set the comes out first. And then you've got, basically here's your cam, it's the exhaust cam. You've got two lobes for each valve. So you've got the normal low lift lobe here. And you've got a high lift with more duration as well. So the cam switches from one lobe to the other at a certain point. That's all done by the engine ECU calibration. The inlet cam is just normal, just has its one single lobe and then that's it. But you still have your variator on the end here, which is what swings the cam, swings the timing. Some lifters. You found anything yet, Jules? No. It's all good, yeah? It's like brand new. It's like brand new, yeah. <laughs> all this will get cleaned afterwards if it's going to go back together, but I didn't really catch what Sarah said actually about what was wrong with it. She said they wanted it taken apart and inspecting, so find out what's happened. Someone's pants. So um, we're gonna undo this by. Oh, gun. cool! So it's um, best scoops. <laughs> World news. What's that? We're gonna undo this by gun or hand? Uh, just undo it by hand. Hitting. There's some shrapnel there, look. There's little bits in the engine, yeah? Yeah. Tall cylinders. Yeah, something's gone through the engine then. Oh! That's what's wrong with it then. Some, something similar happened before, didn't it? So if you want to have a look, gonna, so you see here in the top of the pistons. Can we turn it over, Jules? Yeah. So basically, you can see here, it's a foreign body gone through the engine in all cylinders by lots of things, especially this cylinder. Uh, if you turn it over, we'll be able to see the top. See that one there, look. See it's had something stabbed into it and it's also gone. Um, if you pick the head up, Jules, and then lift it, you'll be able to see the face of the head. See here, look, these bits. And then there, look, see the damage. Damage on the head there. Wow, look at that bit. It just fell off a huge bit in there, look. All the spark plugs look okay. I don't think it's had a piece of spark plug or anything. Lots of bits. Is that something special? What would that be? Let's <laughs> dropped it again. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Well, that's um, going to be a phone call I'm going to need to make to Sarah then. Tell her what's going on. So, this uh, is a stage three car and the customer has 
We've got a melted piston or blown engine, basically. We built this car about four and a half, five years ago now, and it's been fine since, or, or until now, obviously. The customers are sort of wondering why his engine had broke. So this car runs on meth and octane booster, and um, when we got the car in, we noticed that, obviously, he'd had the head taken off at another garage, and we'd been sent pictures. But if you look at the pistons, the pistons are just black, so, which is fine on, on a normal engine, but if you run an engine with octane booster and meth, then it would be orange, not black. <laughs> so we then found that the meth tank was empty. So the customer's been running the car with no octane booster in it, basically, and with the meth empty, which has in turn fried number one piston and um, killed the engine. So now he's had an expensive lesson, but it's had a second hand engine put in, still a stock engine. Uh, it's been all right for four years, so it should be all right again. Uh, but he's now going to use, make sure he uses Octane Booster and MEF. We're also going to take the car over to, because this car was tuned with MRC tuning for us, uh, we're going to take it back to MRC and we're going to get them to put map switching in it so that he can run it with no MEF and a low boost and he can run with MEF with slightly more boost and then he can run uh, more boost, more ignition with meth and octane booster. So he'll have map, full map switching fitted to the car uh, over the next week. And then that's it. And then that's another one done. So basically, we took this engine apart earlier, me and Julian, and you videoed it, didn't you, Axel? So we found that it got shrapnel inside that's damaged on the pistons. So I've since spoken to Sarah at MRT Tuning, and the turbocharger, it's a hybrid turbo. The turbocharger that's on the, on the car has failed, and it's bits of that turbo that have gone into the engine and caused the damage internal in the engine. So uh, they're going to remove that model of turbo. It's, uh, it doesn't matter whose turbo it is, and they're going to fit a Turbo Technics turbo onto it now, which is more reliable. And um, we're going to rebuild the engine, send it back to them, and then they're going to send it out. So at least that's that. We now know why there's shrapnel inside the engine and, and why it's done this damage.